Hello, guys. Can you listen? Can you hear me? Uh, let me. Hi, can you hear me clearly? Nabil Nazri Muhammad. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, we just wait for others first and um. Yeah. You cannot copy and paste the webinar ID. You have to write one by one. Get it here. Thank you. Yes, teacher, I can hear you clearly. How about this one? Yes, I'm loud. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. And uh, for your information, that this is my last webinar, and I hope you're okay with that. Let's see. Uh, okay, we wait for our friends to to come in. Yes, the webinar will be recorded, as I mentioned before. Yes, it is the last webinar because... Um, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, all right, so I'm going to start now. But before that, um, as usual, I'd like to simplify, I like to make um, my webinar short. And um, as you can see from my previous videos, everything is short and simple. So actually it depends on the questions, uh, on your questions and yeah. So let's get started. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you about the danger zone and roadblocks. So I'm going to start with danger zone first. Um, when I mention danger zone, it means um, it is a major supply or a major demand. If you if you if you learn um, supply and demand, you will understand. Okay, I'm going to show you in here. Okay, everything with a big rally based drop or drop based rally, I consider it is a danger zone. Okay, for example, that this is SNRC1. This is SNRC1 setup. SNRC1. Okay, for example, that this is SNRC1 setup and um, you have to make sure that this setup doesn't touch the danger zone yet. Okay, for example, price make um, a strong resistance and then price make a rally base rally. This rally base rally doesn't touch danger zone yet. Okay, so please be careful. So anything with a major supply, major demand, or a very, very huge rally based drop or drop based rally, I consider that is a danger zone. Okay, I know you guys quite um, confused. It's okay, I'll show you 
and what happened here? Sorry. Okay, so this is GBP JPY last week. This week, yeah, it happened this week. I saw a QMC set up in the middle of the trend, and before that, I have to make sure does this QMC really touch the danger zone? So I will mark the danger zone. You see, uh, we have rally base drop. Anything with rally base drop considered a very, very huge supply zone. Okay. All right. So, and I found out that this setup that I'm going to entry doesn't touch the um doesn't touch the danger zone yet. Okay, so I have a, a little bit balls too to buy in this QMC setup. Actually, this is QMC in H1. Yeah, and then um, after that, you see the price reacted, and this is my first TP. And we also can uh, consider a danger zone as the second TP. But um, I, um, I, I entry. I do a single entry. I did in a layer or uh, take a two position. Yeah. So this is danger zone and um, danger zone also considered as um, a, a very major supply or major demand zone. Okay. Okay. So. Um, now i'm going to show you after i tp on the danger zone where exactly okay and you see here the price now reach danger zone so if you guys keep buying in this danger zone you guys will die okay and um you know some traders when they see oh there's a lot of bullish and then the price will keep on bullish. And after that, the price didn't, the price reacted from the danger zone. Okay, and continue fall. Okay, so if you keep buying, uh, maybe you will get a less profit. And if you're buy from this area, you will lose. Uh, okay, so please be careful. Okay, so um, so far, wait, let me see. So far, so far clear. Um, guys, can you please ask question in the pop notes because the the question, uh, the question answer box is so so tiny, so I cannot read it. Yeah. So any answer because uh, before I continue. All clear. Okay, cool. Yes, if you go to the pop notes, um, danger zone is something like the end of the trend. Yeah, if I mention end of the trend, you guys um maybe have a little bit confused. Um, that's why I mentioned it as a supply or major demand zone. Yeah, you guys must have basic um supply and demand zone first before you want to proceed with danger zone. Okay, so um I'm going to show you another one. Wait, eh, sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to show you another. One. Wait, don't ask many quick guys. Don't ask many questions yet. <laughs> don't relax. Okay, so anything with rally base drop is considered as um, a danger zone. Yeah, I like to mark like this. Mark like this, mark like this. This is rally based drop, rally based drop. This is drop based rally, drop based rally. Okay, drop based rally. This is considered as danger zone. Okay, wait. Now um, I show you there was a setup. This is a Sanarsi one setup. 
right? This is SNRC1. We have strong resistance and we have rally base rally. Okay, and then um, we can see that um, this price, uh, when price making, um, what is it called? Higher high, it doesn't touch the danger zone yet. If price touch danger zone and then like it's very high risk for us to, to buy in here. So we make sure that the price doesn't touch danger zone yet. So um, you can see the price came back, return to this setup and continue buying. But as I always say that I consider it as um, danger zone as a TP2. Okay, so uh, for SNRC1, I always say that the uh, TP1 for SNRC1 is the previous high, almost same as uh, QM reversal. Okay, the, the, the TP1 for QM reversal is um, previous lower low or previous higher high. Okay, and uh, what else? This is also a danger zone. And if you see any setup that touch danger zone, please, I don't want to say it's invalid. I don't want to say that it's not good. No, I just want to say that it's high risk. Okay, we are here to protect our equity. So please be careful. And um, so far, you guys understand. Um, this is actually uh, the continual part of hidden confirmation because this, I say before, um, if price, if you cannot find engulfing in higher time frame, you can find a price didn't touch the danger zone yet. So that is another confirmation. It's called hidden confirmation because not all price, sometimes price with engulfing in higher time frame also price didn't respect. So please check, does this price really touch danger zone or not? Okay, so I'm going to continue with roadblock. Um, yes, a huge rally base drop. Do you mean big rally and big demand or can be one of them? Just big rally, what? No, it's uh, not big rally, it's big rally based drop. This is very huge rally based drop. This is also rally based drop. Okay, but I want the, the bigger or we call it a bigger supply zone. This is supply zone, okay? Okay. Wait, wait, guys, don't ask question yet. <laughs> yeah, um, Muhammad, let me um, answer, answer you later. Okay, so um, next I'm going to... Okay, roadblock. Um, Roadblock. Okay, so this is the example of roadblock. We have danger zone here. Okay, I think I have to write down last. Yes. Danger zone. Okay, and at the same time, we see another setup in here, and we call it as a roadblock because, because why? Right. Okay. For example, that we can see a reversal buying, and for example, you can see that this is SNRC one setup, or maybe QM reversal, or maybe SNRC two, whatever. But um, it might have a little bit heart attack because we found roadblock in here. We were thinking that oh maybe this price going to react to this SNRC one. So you know you're supposed to get hundred pips in here but um you you got no peaceful thing peaceful mind to to get your your 100 pips in here instead of this so um roadblock is very uh disturbing but i'm going to show you the example how it looks like uh okay so this is the roadblock okay this is qm reversal we have low High, lower, low, higher, high. Sorry, sorry. I forgot to draw 
the roadblock punya that. Okay. So this is SNRC1 and this is QM reversal. I think I have put it in my um in my IG. I forgot. Okay, so we see this is low, high, lower, low, higher, high, and then um we try to buy here. We start by here and then um and when you start buying here. You found out that this is SNRC1 setup. So this is considered roadblock, the first roadblock. And then you know, like you're supposed to get um 60 pips, but <laughs> you start shaking and you maybe you will cut your profit here because you think that the price is going to react in here. So um this is kind of roadblock, and and then the price break this roadblock didn't respect this roadblock and we have another roadblock that is qm reversal cell we have high low higher high lower low okay so um so um you know there's another obstacles for you so what guys don't ask question yet wait okay and then um you have to see where the price react first if price react from qm reversal buy then you start buying okay uh, if you see that if the price react from the qm reversal sell then you can start sell but you can see the beautiful confirmation in here it's very very clear you have engulfing candle in here okay so now go back and at the same time, it's a bonus. This price, this higher high, doesn't touch the danger zone yet. Okay, this price doesn't touch the danger zone yet. If the price touched the danger zone, uh, if the price already touched this danger zone and then price came back, I think it's very high risk for you to keep on buying in this QM reversal. But lucky this price didn't touch this danger zone yet. Okay, so this is obstacle, this is obstacle. So this is roadblock and this is also roadblock. Roadblock is I dedicate as a setup as a roadblock okay so i hope you clear any question guys so far you understand mm. yes can we see the h4 chart yeah you see beautiful isn't it we have engulfing candle. Very clear. As I always say, it's all about multi time frame analysis. Okay. <clears throat> Once you see a setup, um, you have to make sure that it doesn't touch the danger zone yet. This I have mentioned in the hidden confirmation previous week. You cannot, um, you know, disturbing your mind like, oh, where's the danger zone? Where's the danger zone? No, you cannot be so in details with it. Okay. Okay, um, now I'm going to um, look for the question. Mm. Wait, let me read one by one. What is Suleiman? Oh, so. Once it touched danger zone, we only look for sell and buy. No, when it, one, no, um, I don't recommend you to 
to sell from the danger zone. Okay, for this example, this is danger zone. And you can see the price really react to this danger zone. But um, I do not recommend. Um, you can sell, but um, it's uh, it's not recommended. I don't recommend to sell in here even the price keep falling. Okay, um, it's a high risk setup. If you want to keep uh, keep on selling, it's up to you. But for me, if I see these chances, I'm not going to take it. Okay. And so a danger zone is the start of the former trend. Yes, yes. Or, or please uh, refer to the pop notes. I have mentioned it there. Will there be a case that it surpassed danger zone? Yes, yes it is. So danger zone can be any supply and demand zone in any time frame. Yeah, yeah. Like um, this is H1. So I look the danger uh, danger zone in H1 also. Like uh, what happened in GBP JPY. Um, yeah, I saw a setup in GBP JPY, and I also look the danger zone in. Uh, GBP, JPY, okay. Um, anybody? Okay. So, um, teacher, you said after reversal is best time for continuation setup. Yes, the best recommended um, entry is. Uh, if we want to entry more low risk is uh, after reversal happened. Okay. Moha Gegi. If our QM reversal cell didn't retest and we have a big drop, still best for continuation. Moha Gegi, can you please send me the picture of the example? I don't understand that. What will you do if you enter by near the danger zone? Um, because uh, danger zone, um, you go back to the pop notes. There's a beginning of the trend, middle of the trend, end of the trend. So if you see here, I entry at the middle of the trend. So it's a um, medium risk setup. If I entry from here, for example, if there's SNRC2, it might be low risk, but I entry here in the middle of the trend. So it's quite um, medium, uh, medium risk. Teacher, can price react at the same zone more than twice? Yes, probably, but I do not recommend that. We want a fresh, fresh zone. The price didn't touch it yet. Huge rally, huge rally base drop. Huge rally base drop, it means major supply zone. Huge drop base rally, it means that major demand zone. Why just danger zone sell in chart? A lot. Moha gigi. It's a lot. We have buy too? Yeah. I don't understand your question actually. Should we mark the danger zone from high time frame as well if we use the low time frame setup? Uh, I, if you see, I entry at the H4 and I also look for I look the danger zone in H4. Like this example, um, this is entry in, uh, this is set up in H1, and I also look the danger zone in H1. Okay. Any question, guys? Seems that you guys already understand. Teacher, what is the difference between danger zone and roadblock? I think same. 
yeah uh it's quite same but a uh, roadblock is very unpredictable so um i give you another example i used to entering in qm reversal before i think during my compounding okay um money you know roadblock doesn't mean a setup also roadblock can be formed in engulfing as uh as you can see here yeah this is my cell high low higher high lower low and then the price making bullish engulfing here and then at the same time i sell here and then you know this is roadblock okay this is suppose danger zone we have danger zone here but you know it's kind of disturbing because um you know bullish engulfing is meant to buy bearish engulfing is meant to sell so it's quite frustrated for me so uh, what did i do i i entry with more than one position so this is my first tp and this is my second tp okay so that's why um don't uh, entry with single entry if you don't want to cry because sometimes you know some traders they uh they tp here and then they found out the price keep on selling so yeah they get frustrated and regret yeah so that is the roadblock i meant roadblock is unpredictable but danger zone is more predictable it's more easier than roadblock okay teacher so we can have buy danger zone in danger cell uh in one chart and time frame i was thinking we just have one danger zone like buy or sell this is danger zone buy this is danger zone uh rally a uh, drop base rally so this is called uh what is it called uh drop base rally so this is demand zone uh yeah more easier yeah okay so we have this one anything with very clear drop base rally is considered um major supply zone this is major hey, sorry this is major demand zone this is major supply zone okay so this is danger zone danger zone danger zone a lot of danger zone but you have you don't bother do you don't don't be too bothered with danger zone stuff you have to find the setup first and then you make sure does this setup really really touch the danger zone yet you have to go back to the heated confirmation um like this okay hidden confirmation that this is hybrid okay and then price break and then price uh price make uh, qm setup and then what happened the price came back and continue flying but you have to make sure this higher high doesn't touch the danger zone all right uh yeah okay i'm going to delete that i found out people um leaking my videos now okay uh what else moha gigi did i answer your question already so we can have buy danger zone and danger cell in one chart and time frame i was thinking we just have one danger zone like buy or sell you have to refer back to the danger zone in pop notes uh yeah wait i give another one example if we have any more examples okay 
This is rally based drop. Okay. And don't look for the rally based drop yet. Don't look for danger zone yet. We look for the setup first. Okay. Uh, and then we found out, ah, this is QM reversal. Okay. So I'm going to market QM reversal. And then um, when you find QM reversal, you see, you got low, high, lower, low, higher, high. And then now we um, now we have time. We're going to find the danger zone. This higher high, does it touch the danger zone yet? So this is a very clear rally base drop. So I'm going to color. Okay, wow. So this um qm reversal doesn't touch the danger zone yet so the price came back and continue price so this is our first tp okay and this is our second tp okay all right so mohagegi i hope i answered your question <laughs> okay so wow <laughs> What type of account did I use for EC? Yeah, I I use ECN. I use Tick Mill and IC Market, but um, I want to propose Tifia. Who? Anyone using Tifia? Okay, do you use company? Yes, I use company name. Yes, I do pay government tax. Why do I see people talking about local deposit? Yeah, this one, I have no comment with it. <laughs> okay, how to marking danger zone? Use weak or body candle. Um. Okay, use weak or body candle. I like the body candle more than the weak. But you see, if you... You know, you don't be too headache of um, searching week or body candle, which one, blah, blah, blah. First, you have to find the setup first. And then um, at the same time, you look for the uh, danger zone. It, it doesn't matter because when you, uh, when you switch to the higher time frame, it's actually a week. But you, uh, but you, you switch to the lower time frame. It's actually a body candle, so you don't bother of marking um, danger zone. No, marking the setup, yes, it should be selective. But marking the danger zone, you cannot be so selective. Okay, as long as um, the price doesn't touch the danger zone, yeah, you can enter. Okay, so. Um, Are they record? Yes, are they record? Um, <laughs> okay, how to mark, mark precisely the danger zone? Just mark the shadow. I like to mark the body. Yeah, I like to mark the body. I don't like to mark the shadow, but you know, um, it's a long debate because you know if you switch to h4 it looks like weak but um but because i found the setup in h1 so i just follow the danger zone in h1 okay so it doesn't matter don't be headed with danger zone find the setup first and then you make sure that this setup really touch the danger zone yet so now we look for the confirmation mm, see this is the confirmation guys this is bullish engulfing okay it's a bonus we saw bullish engulfing and then we saw the price didn't touch danger zone and then yeah full margin lap laggy okay so um, it means that we also can use fantastic five as a danger zone instead of major fnd no fantastic five is set up is a setup but danger zone is the direction or i call it a place that uh, we should be aware if this one of the fantastic five touch it or not because uh you cannot we cannot i don't know how to explain fantastic five is not 
Danger Zone, Fantastic Five is a setup. Danger Zone is the area that we have to be aware of. Okay. This um I don't know what's your name your name um is it Chinese or Japanese? Uh, I am. Um, you have to uh, familiar with major supply and demand first. Then you know. Okay. Don't blame Fantastic Five. Fantastic Five is just a setup for you to entry. And danger zone is the place for you to be aware. Okay. And next. Do you pay attention to compression? Oh my God. Compression is not in the syllabus of Bystra because I'm not good with compression. Okay. Next. Uh, WD gain. What do you send me? The GUH1 example you just showed, there was QMR cell and still okay to buy. No, QMR cell, why you have to buy? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. You mean this one, right? Wow. We have high, low, higher, high, lower, low. Um, yeah. WD game. Okay, so we have high, low, higher, high, lower, low. Let me change to. And then now let's go find the confirmation. And daily. Um, in daily, you see, this is QMR cell just now. I don't like it. Uh, for me, I'm not going to entry. I will be waiting to this daily bullish engulfing. If you want to entry, it's up to you. But um, but for me, I'm not going to entry because there's no a very solid engulfing, a very solid confirmation. Okay, so I'm just going to wait to buy here. Okay. Hans Mustafa, Mustafa, it is danger zone happened by high time frame setup. No, it it occurs in um every time frame, any time frame. It occurs in any time frame. No worries. <coughs> ah, Mohagegi, strongest key level combination recompounding formula. Guys, I need you, I need your help. Can you please report these guys, this guy's YouTube account? He's leaking my video. I'm going to send you later. Absolutely. Okay, for confirmation, body engulfing trend line. Trend line is a bonus. Uh trend line and confluence is the bonus. For confirmation, you have to go back to hidden confirmation because I said that um, whether it is engulfing or whether if you cannot find engulfing, you have to check um, whether does it really touch the danger zone yet. Okay, but uh, the confluence, the trend line is just um, how to say in Malay, it's called Sedak Tan Mati. The, in a, it's like a support. I mean, like a, how to say? It's just a confluence. I don't. I don't um, consider uh, trend lines as confirmation. No. Austin Jazz, where can I learn confluence? Will you teach it? confluence principle? Oh my god. I stopped until CK3, but maybe I will give you a hint because I'm not allowed to, uh, to, to, to teach confluence principle because you guys still not good with CK, CK3 or CK2 yet. Uh, but I will, I will show you later or soon. Maybe, um, I'll give some hint, the confluence principle. It's quite 
it's quite uh, difficult. How to say? Yeah, it's quite complicated because um, it needs a lot of confluence and you guys will get addicted to that. I myself, I don't really use confluence principle, but it's fun. What you do, brain, brain. What you do if your position against you, cut loss, and I'll take a break or hit your SL. Yeah, I just got lost and look for any other setup. How to do report? I join. I will send you the link later. <laughs> when SNR C1 cell setup coming out first, then QMR by like in your first example, should we prioritize the yes? QM reversal is stronger than SNR C1. SNR C2 is more stronger than SNR C1. QM reversal is more stronger than QMC. Because why? Because QM reversal involves two trends, uptrend and downtrend. But SNRC1 and SNRC2 involve only one-way trend, whether it is uptrend or downtrend. Okay? So, yeah, QMR, QMC, SNRC2. Waiting for our setup to come is killing. How you do it? Any tips? I don't have any tips. All we have to do is just wait. Just wait. This is H1. Uh, oh, I saw QMC. We have QMC, QMC. Oh. And look. QMC and look at H4. It's Bullish engulfing. Okay, in H4, it's clap. First, second, why am I talking about clap right now? Okay, and um, in the middle of the confluence is uh, engulfing candle and entry at the third trend line. Okay, so. Can you share how to make journal for learning purposes? You have to go to pop notes. Journal, what do you mean? <clears throat> do you always looking for setup after London open? Is it recommend to look for setup during Asian? Asian session, I uh, Asian session, uh, session, Asian session is uh australian dollar and new zealand and jpy i i don't like them because uh first the uh i don't know based on my experience they are their movement is so slow um maybe because i get used to gold and gbp so that's why i don't like asian sessions so I more prefer to London session. It means after ASAR, after 4 p.m. Yeah, it's better. Hi, Nora. So one should be doing 30 pips stop loss or it depends, especially on gold. Okay. Uh, especially on gold. Um, my limit is only from 15 to 30 pips stop loss. I, if the price went more than that, I just, uh, cut my loss and I will look for any other setup. I'll take a break and look for any other setup. Okay. Here's the example. This is SNRC1. We have strong resistance. We have rally base rally. Okay, so where is my stop loss? So I'm going to mark here. My stop loss is 15 to 30 pips. So this is, yeah, this is 30 pips. So this is my stop loss. Okay, if the price, if the price, uh, what break this, entry point i will consider that this price is failed just um yeah failed 
so i don't like it okay so this is my stop loss if you know some traders they will wait until here wait until here until 100 pips no it's unhealthy it's not it's not a good lifestyle for you to to trade no i don't recommend that okay so um my rules is only 15 to 30 pips stop loss not more than that uh, do you know how mansour safari requirement to do uh, 1000 screenshot oh okay yeah um it's recommended actually 100 screenshot is enough but to sharpen your skills is recommend more than that like um i heard uh one of my students he did three thousand journals three thousand screenshot one shot so um the more you practice the more you can find the setup the more you can see how the market move okay um yeah Teacher, you recommend 60p like 100 pips? No, I never, um, no. Okay, for example, right. Um, this is as an RC1. I was like, I'm going to TP to the previous higher high. I, this is enough. How much I'm going to get? 50 pips, enough law. Okay. This is my first TP, the previous higher high. Do you enter more than one position at one time or just focus one pair? Uh, yeah, if there's roadblock, I will enter more than one position because one, my TP is on the roadblock, one, my TP to the another, um, yeah, another maybe danger zone, something like that. Okay, so, um, but so far, do you guys understand my explanation about danger zone and roadblock? Okay. Yeah. Teacher, if you do the screenshot, do you focus on one pair or more than that? Um, one pair or more than that? More than that. I will, if I do SNRC one, I will look for any kind of time frame, any kind of pair. Then I will combine in one in one document or in one file, and then put for for me to stare if I fail, and then I will stare again. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think that's all for now. <laughs> uh, I think that's all for now. <sighs> I I saw a lot of setup in in gold but i always miss the bus i have no idea why teacher when you do journal did you focus on one setup like snrc one at a time or you have learned uh before yeah i look for snrc one all the time I will look and then I will collect the setup that already happened and I will screenshot and I will keep inside my laptop. And then I'll go to M5. If there's no M5, I'll go to M15. Uh, if I go until H4 daily and then I will jump into any other pair and I look for another SNRC1, M5, M15 just to practice my eyes. 
I saw gold have more setup in lower time frame, but currency more on high time frame. Yeah, I I noticed that too. That's why I love gold. It, yeah. <laughs> Teacher, first thing, when you open chart, you find danger zone or setup. I will find setup first. And then after that, I will see does this setup touch danger zone or not. Okay. When teacher want to mix new compounding, I'm going to, I don't want to use my account. I'm going to use your account, Ken. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay, so uh, guys, why you really trust me? <laughs> okay, so I think that's all for now. And yeah, uh, thank you for attending the webinar. And uh, all the webinar will be sent or post by tonight or by today, as soon as possible. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.